right now at noon, firefighters battling some big flames in Opelika today after a fire erupted at a used auto parts business. Let's go right now to Local 10 News reporter Alex Finney. She's live on the scene where several vehicles were burned. Alex. Yes, several indeed. We know you can see here fire trucks still out here on the scene. That fire we have learned uh, from officials that it started as a result of welding equipment. About 50 emergency personnel were out here working this fire earlier today, and thankfully there were no injuries. Heavy black smoke seen for miles high above Opelika. This second alarm fire went off around 930 this morning at AAAA Auto Parts off Cairo Lane. There's a lot of flammable equipment. There's always gas and oil left over in these vehicles. The tires uh, can explode. The owner of the shop says he and his son tried to put out the flames before first responders arrived, but were unsuccessful. We tried to cut off with a stinger fire, but we don't got enough. Yeah. The fire gets so be on the time. Daniel Lampman works close by at Minton Auto Shop. His surveillance cameras capture trucks rushing to the scene. And it's dangerous work around here. People working with gas, diesel, oil. But, um, you know, you have to take safety precautions. The owner of AAAA Auto Parts says in total, nine cars were destroyed. All right, now fire rescue, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says about 40 cars were involved. Meanwhile, we know Cairo Lane was closed a bit earlier, but it is now back open. An interesting point uh, that was made to me by officials out here. This is actually the third junkyard fire in Opelika in this area, just a few block radius over just the past few weeks. And that's something that they're planning to look into. Coming to you live from Opelika, Alex Finney, Local 10 News.